Hi guys, this is Dylan from The Perfect French. Today I decided to share with you 25 idioms and expressions. Since we saw last week a vocabulary about fruit and vegetable, I thought it would be good to just keep on that. So the idioms and expressions today are going to be about fruits and veggies. Idioms and expressions are a big part of the French language. We use them with everything all the time. We have with animals, with plants, with the weather, with the colors, fruits, anything. Today we're only going to see fruits and veggies, but I will definitely do more in the future. So make sure to subscribe to my channel to not miss any. I don't know if you can see it, but my skin is really dry. We went camping last weekend and it was cold, so I can't smile too much on this lesson, otherwise it's just going to crack over my, my lips and it's gonna hurt. So, sorry for that. Okay, enough talking. The first one. Raconter des salades. So, salade is green, if you remember well. Green. So, raconter des salades. To tell green. To tell green. Which means to tell lies to tell lies, to not say the truth. So if someone tells you, arrête de raconter des salades, that means he does not believe whatever you're saying right now. Second one with cerise, cerise, cherry. La cerise sur le gâteau. La cerise sur le gâteau. The cherry on the cake. The cherry on the cake. For English speaker, it's only the cherry on top. The cherry on top. The first time I heard saying the cherry on top in English, I thought, what, like, the cherry on top of the cake, right? Why, why would you just say the cherry on top? It changed depending on the country and the language. So in French, the cherry on the cake. In English, the cherry on top. La cerise sur le gâteau. La cerise sur le gâteau. Numéro 3. Avoir une peau de pêche. Avoir une peau de pêche. So it's to have a peach skin. Which means to have a really smooth skin. To have a really smooth skin. Avoir une peau de pêche. To have a peach skin is really like you're hydrated, it's smooth, it's nice, it's nothing like me after a weekend in the wood. Numéro 4. Ce film est un navet. Ce film est un navet. This movie is a turnip. This movie is a turnip. So this, this movie is just really bad. It's not, not worth seeing. Just don't go. Don't go to the theater. Ce film est un navet. Don't go. Numéro 5, probably my favorite. Avoir un cœur d'artichaut. Avoir un cœur d'artichaut. To have an artichoke hurts. To fall in love easily. Avoir un cœur d'artichaut. I have that. I fall in love easily with every single puppy I see. All the time. Numéro 6. Être haut comme trois pommes. Être haut comme trois pommes. To be tall as three apples. Which means to be quite short. But we can only say that for kids, only children. Don't say that to an adult, it's really rude. I'm personally not that tall and I would not like someone to tell me that. But it's only for kids. Oh, he's so cute. He is tall as three apples. Il est haut comme trois pommes. Il est tellement mignon, il est haut comme trois pommes. Numéro 7. Still with apples. Tomber dans les pommes. Tomber dans les pommes. To fall onto apples. It just means to faint. Tomber dans les pommes. Numéro 8. Apples again. C'est pour ma pomme. C'est pour ma pomme. Means it's for my apple. It's for my apple. Just means it's for me. I don't know. If someone doesn't do something, you will say, oh, it's for my apple. C'est pour ma pomme. I will have to do it. I have no choice. You don't really want to do it, but you have to. C'est pour ma pomme. Numéro 9. And we change through it this time. Avoir la banane. 
avoir la banane means to have the banana to have the banana and it is not what you think actually it means to be happy to be smiley avoir la banane which I can't do now remember camping avoir la banane numéro 10 quite similar avoir la pêche avoir la pêche to have the peach to have the peach means to be full of energy to be full of energy avoir la pêche numéro 11 avoir la patate avoir la patate which means to have the potato to have the potato it just really doesn't make sense when I translate all that it just doesn't make sense it's getting worse every time to have the potato also to be full of energy avoir la patate Donc, j'ai la pêche j'ai la patate I don't know, I think la pêche is more common. I don't know, like the, the potato makes me laugh every time. J'ai la patate. Numéro 12. Couper la poire en deux. Couper la poire en deux. To cut the pear in half. Couper la poire en deux. Which means to split the bill, to split the work, to split any, anything, basically anything that you're not really happy to do. You can say, uh, on peut couper la poire en deux, and then it's equal. So I have to do it, but you have to do it too, you know? But it's not really a positive thing. Numéro 13. Les carottes sont cuites. The carrots are cooked. Which means there is no hope of change. No hope of change. Nothing will change. Les carottes sont cuites. Les carottes sont cuites. Numéro 14. Occupe-toi de tes oignons. Occupe-toi de tes oignons. Translation would be mind your own onions. Mind your own onions. Which means mind your own business. So we don't say business, we say onions. I don't know, but it's definitely less strong than in English, I think, because you can't really say mind your own onions and be taken seriously. I don't know, mind your own onions. Imagine you have something wrong like, and you're like, please mind your own onions, okay? So, occupe-toi de tes oignons. Occupe-toi de tes oignons. Numéro 15. Mettre du beurre dans les épinards. Mettre du beurre dans les épinards. To put butter in spinach. Am I actually saying spinach correctly? I'm not even sure. I would have to check that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just making a fool of myself right now. So that means improve the finances. Improve the finances. So he got a raise at work. That will put butter in spinach. Spinach. I hope so. Mettre du beurre dans les épinards. So that will improve the financial situation of that person, of that family. Mettre du beurre dans les épinards. Numéro 16. It's just getting better and better. Se prendre le chou. Se prendre le chou. To take one's cabbage. To take one cabbage. That means to bother someone. To bother someone. Se prendre le chou. Il me prend le chou. He is bothering me. Il me prend le chou. He is bothering me. Numéro 17. Chou again. Un bout de chou. Un bout de chou. A piece of cabbage. I really don't know what we have, French speaker, with cabbage, because it's not actually that good, but it's actually a kid, a really cute kid. Un bout de chou. Numéro 18. Être chou. Être chou. To be cabbage, I guess. It's really hard to translate sometimes. To be cabbage, which means cute. To be cute. So you, you can't say, je suis chou. You can't say, I'm, I'm cabbage. No, you can't say that. It's like someone is going to say that about you. Oh, il est vraiment chou. Il est vraiment chou. He is very cute. Very, very cute. Once again, I have no idea what we have with cabbage because it's not that good, it's not that pretty. Numéro 19. Presser quelqu'un comme un citron. 
presser quelqu'un comme un citron. To squeeze someone like a lemon. To squeeze someone like a lemon. Which means to exploit someone as much as you can. You're gonna take everything of him. You're gonna take the finances, the house, everything. To squeeze someone like a lemon. Numéro 20, another one with lemon. Ne rien avoir dans le citron. Ne rien avoir dans le citron. To have nothing in the lemon. To have nothing in the lemon. Just mean that that person is not that smart. It's a bit stupid. Numéro 21, as we're getting closer to Halloween, is the perfect time. Ne rien avoir dans la citrouille. Ne rien avoir dans la citrouille. To have nothing in the pumpkin. To have nothing in the pumpkin. Same translation as the lemon one, it's to be stupid. Numéro 22, ramener sa fraise. Ramener sa fraise. I mean, to bring your strawberry. To bring your strawberry. Can you guess what it means? It just means to join a conversation and invite it. So nobody asks you to join it, nobody asks your advice, but you bring it anyway. So someone might tell you, arrête de ramener ta fraise. Arrête de ramener ta fraise. Numéro 23, faire le poro. Faire le poro. So remember this one, we do not say poireau, we say poro. Poro, faire le poro. Translation, to do the leak. To do the leak. Can you guess? So that means to stand waiting for what seems to be a really long time. So just waiting, 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 waiting. Well, if you do that, tu fais le poro. Tu fais le poro. Numéro 24, être rouge comme une tomate. Être rouge comme une tomate. To be red like a tomato. To be red like a tomato. Which means to be embarrassed. Because when you're embarrassed, you just blush. You just become really red. So you become red like a tomato. Être rouge comme une tomate. But you can also say that, I guess, when you have a sunburn. And when you have a sunburn, you can say, Oh, tu es rouge comme une tomate. That works too, I think. Yeah. And numéro 25... C'est la fin des haricots. It's actually the perfect one for the end. C'est la fin des haricots. It's the end of the beans. It's the end of the beans. Can you guess what it means? It's the end of the beans. That means there's nothing left. There is nothing left. C'est la fin des haricots. C'est la fin des haricots. C'est la fin des haricots. Il a tout perdu. That's the end of the beans. He lost everything. You can say that like that. So that was 25 idioms and expression in French about veggies and fruit. So don't forget, there will be other ones like that with other topics like animals, food, weather, colors, anything that can help you to be more fluent. It's gonna be every Thursday. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. You can also join my um, Instagram account. I'm gonna put it right here. Don't forget that I post four times a week, so stay tuned. I hope you learned something today and I will see you soon for another lesson.